Good morning. Happy Friday, big freaks. We are about to start. I'm going to give you a moment to log in and we're going to start with the warm up. We exactly have two minutes before the session. So let's do this. Today we're going to be starting on the floor for the warm up and I'm just going to wait for you right here. How is everybody doing? So many of you will be replaying this video later. This is great. You might be replaying this video months later. You might be in a different place, different country. Good morning, Roxanne. Joseph, this is great. I love when you guys showing up here. This is fantastic. As you know, I have to go for the workout myself. And having you feeling like I have people in my group so we can do it together. Awesome. So, so yes, let's, uh, let's get comfortable on the floor. As you see, I have a mat. You need dumbbells. You need a step. You need bend at the pole. So set it up now. And you need a regular monster band. But again, look, if you don't have it, it's okay. We're going to work it with the dumbbells. So don't you worry. We got you covered, okay? But again, step, dumbbells, monster band, which is the one loop band, and a band at the pole. That's what, that would be the ideal thing. All right, so comfortable on the floor. How is everybody doing this morning? This is the second day of the no sugar challenge. Second day today, so make sure you are posting, you are paying attention to your day. You are finding out if based on what we did yesterday, how you can improve your day because that's really important to see what were the loops and the breaks in there that you need to fit in today and so you can have a better day. There is always strategic planning and once you do that, it's going to be much easier for you. All right. We are all good. Let's do this on the floor. Today, warm up will be a little bit different on the floor. We're going to start with laying down on the floor, arms over the head, taking a deep breath in, elongated through the spine. Look, literally, when you do this, you, your body wants to like take a deep breath in and exhale. Bring one leg at a time. Really press on that leg. Breathe out. So the knee goes up and out towards the shoulder. You're elongating through the spine. You're checking your position with your shoulders, arms. Are they both going overhead? Are they both touching the floor? My, each of my arms is different. Totally. Like one has a bigger range of motion than the other. And this is normal. We're we not really symmetrical. Bring it up. Press it. Good. Now we're going to do both legs. That kettlebell is only for me just to keep that mat in place. We're not going to be using it. Now, again, press it, press it, press it. And take a deep breath in. And again, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Hug those legs. Bring your head and shoulders off the floor. Very good. We're going to roll up right here in a sitting position. Look. One leg is straight and one leg is out. Straight out. I want you to sit tall right here. We're going to reach towards the, the toes and stand up straight. And again, reach and sit up straight. Reach, sit up straight. One more. Reach and hold, reach and hold, sit up straight. Switch your legs. One leg is out, one leg is forward. Take a deep breath in and again, exhale. Breathe out. Each time you're reaching for those toes, breathe out. Two, three, one more. Four, and hold, hold, hold. Bring those toes towards you so you can feel that stretch right in here. Now look, this is how we're going to alternate. One, look, switch. Two, switch. Three, switch. Four, active stretch. Five, one more. Six, good, feet are wide. We're sitting tall. Now do not force to open up your legs. Do not. If you have a good range of motion, you want to sit nice and tall. Perfect. We want to sit tall, okay? We're going to go across, touch, bring your arms outside, and across, and touch. The whole goal is to touch your toes, stretch the lats, stretch the lats. So you're reaching with opposite arm and reach up and over. You want to stretch them, elongate, and reach, 
There you go. And up. And again, reach. Good. Those are all good stretches. God, they are like 20 years old and they're still working. Bring it up. Up and over. There you go. One more time on each. Good. You see, as we're doing, like that range of motion improves and you start feeling more mobile, right? That's the whole idea. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Look, we're going to flip that over. We're going to be on our four position right here. On our four position. So look, you're going to round your spine, round your head, and neutral. And again, deep breath in. Exhale. Neutral. And again, deep breath in. Exhale. One more time. You don't want to go hyperextend and lower back. That lower back. Just round it up. Squeeze and neutral. Look, one leg is going forward right here. Sit on it, then high plank position, bring the other leg and sit on it again. And again, this is active. Lift, switch. You're gonna sit, you're gonna feel the inner thigh stretching that glute. High plank and switch and sit tall. And again, high plank, switch. Sit for a second, feel that stretch. And again, good, we're gonna now Hold that stretch right here. You're gonna loosen up if you can, forearms. If you can, extend your arms right there. Good, deep stretch. And switch, high plank to the other leg. Slowly, slowly, down, down, down. Elongate, sit on it. Good, deep glute stretch right here, shoulders. Awesome. Now we're gonna come up. We're gonna be in a high plank position, but your feet will be a little wider. Now look what we're gonna do. We're gonna Bring those hands, as you're bringing those hands, your feet, your heels will touch the floor. This is, I am in a deep position right here. I'm gonna press on my hands and shoulders right here, and you're gonna feel a stretch in the posterior side of your legs, of your calves, your hamstrings right here. Press, hold it, walk your hands in, touch the toes, come up, breathe out, and again. We're gonna crawl out just halfway through, without letting those heels off the floor, right here. Press on your lower back, press. Walk those hands in, touch the toes, come up, open up your chest. And again, crawl out just a little bit here, just in so you can push, a, put the pressure on your shoulders, right here. Heels into the ground, walk your hands, touch your toes, come up. Open up your chest and bring your arms up. Now look, we're going to do alternating toe touches. It's pretty much almost the movement like we did it on the floor, sitting in sitting position, right? Come up and stretch it. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. Just like this, shoulder to shoulder, straight line. So what you want to see, when you tap that toe, the other shoulder should be nice and open, okay? And again, reach elongate one more time. Good. Now reach towards the floor and bring your arms up. Swing them up. But the whole goal is to still stay as straight as possible right here. And again, deep breath in and exhale. One more time. Good. Now you guys have a step for this workout. I am going to use right here. I want you to sit on a chair or any, maybe a couch you have at home. Maybe a step, but it should be knee level, not lower, knee level. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna sit and look, you're gonna lower your body down towards your, towards your quads right here. And you're gonna loosen up that lower back. This is such a good stretch right here. Loosening it up, bring it all the way down, stretching here, there you go. And come up, we're gonna start the quad stretch. We, get, we got to a standing position. Who is with me? Johanna, good morning. Now, stand, going back, we're gonna reach towards those legs. Reach, and again, reach, nice work. Reach, and again, quad stretch, boom, walking forward. Good, we are totally loosening up right now. Reach towards your toes. Reach, reach. Good. One more time reminder. You need a step. You need dumbbells. You need bend at the pole. And you need 
monster band the step i said yes we are all set so let's do this we're gonna have switching between left and right arm but the exercises will be switched on the fly you need to keep up the pace and you need to pay attention which arm i'm telling you so do not start on a different arm other than i'm gonna tell you we're gonna start with left arm left arm you start laying on the floor get that step close to you because we're gonna be using it right now after this left arm round and we gotta go fast okay i'm gonna set up mine here i can be totally sideways towards you so lay down on the floor get a left dumbbell in your left hand we're gonna be doing left leg lift and left arm press in three two one you are going you are going for it you are going go 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 don't worry that you didn't hear the clock <whistles> left arm and left leg lift that's it so the arm goes to a 90 degree angle i am barely tapping at the floor coming right back up so you can keep those that right leg bent why because once you bend that right leg your range of motion on the left leg improves as you can see you do not lift your head you do not lift your shoulders you're pressing that dumbbell straight up and the leg goes up as far as you can go tap that elbow down and come right back up three two one now listen up right arm alternating step up dumbbell in your right hand right here you're gonna step up step down and switch your leg so again we're going right left right left left leg up left leg down only right arm holds the dumbbell pay attention right arm only holds the dumbbell we're creating that a little uneven moment here hold it to the side keep on stepping shoulders back chest is out always check that position when you're stepping you want entire foot on that step you don't want to be on the edge you want to squeeze that glute that is stepping up on that step full control as you know i am not carrying dumbbells in my right arm just so you know so you're not feeling like why is she not holding that right arm dumbbell right arm press and that flutter kick single flutter kick right arm dumbbell in your right arm right leg lift go press it squeeze it lift there you go we're going we're going breathe out do not lift your head because sometimes it feels like oh you're lifting a dumbbell you can lift your head no you're driving that leg up with that dumbbell okay dumbbell they want to meet right in the center keep that legs extended keep your toes pointed okay point your toes so you can engage that quad a little bit more that arm goes up and down tapping and lifting it back up good work pay attention left arm now left arm is going over that step we're still doing alternating step ups so left arm is holding and you're doing right left right down left down left up right up left down right down and again i'm going to show you right here i don't want to do too much over to the oh, too much of that step just right here keeping that dumbbell abs are tight glutes are tight just left arm that's it step up step down look some of you will be doing a, using a couch a good chair just make sure that the chair is supported that it's not wobbling <clears throat> i hear mine clicking a little bit but it's not gonna slide off the floor it's really stable <sighs> good back to your both dumbbells flutter kicks right now so we're gonna be lifting the right and left so both dumbbells here both dumbbells here and you're lifting alternating those legs look this is the first round you might you you will get to know this round don't worry 
So lifting right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. Press, press, good, good work. Now, just so you know, in the beginning of every round and finishing of every round, we're gonna have a cardio booster, okay? So it's like a cardio, tur turbo cardio. We're gonna learn the steps. We're gonna repeat those. Press it, press it, press it. Ah! Now you gotta get both of your dumbbells for that step up, my friends. Both dumbbells in your hands. You are stepping. Let's do this. Both dumbbells in your hands. You're alternating that step. I call it four because it's left, right, left, right, then it's right, left, right, left, right, but both dumbbells in your hands. Now, try to keep your shoulders back. Chest is out. Keep those elbows slightly bent. Stay stable. Breathe, don't hold the breath. Because when we get tired, we have a tendency to hold the breath sometimes. Good work, good work. We're stepping. Awesome. Now look, we're going to do the zigzag. Zigzag will be at the end of each round. How we're going to jump? We're going to jump single leg, forward, forward, like ice skater, okay? This is pretty much ice skater. You can go backward if you have a good space. I just want you to jump side to side. That's it. And go forward. Single leg bound. I want you to hold for that single leg for a second. Don't go too fast. I want a moment of hesitation, pause. There you go, like that. We're not touching the floor yet, but we're gonna get to a moment that we're gonna touch the floor. I want a big, nice, big step forward, nice big jump. There you go, soft. Guys, soft. All right, listen up. Second round, we are starting with the Heisman. How the Heisman goes? It goes one, two, three. Left knee up, one, two, three, right knee up, one, two, three, left leg up, one, two, three, right leg, go, pump, lift that leg up, see how I'm pausing, now when I'm pausing, that glute is on fire, right, left those legs up, if somebody cannot jump, they will have to do this, look, left, 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 and there's a hesitation that Leg that it's finishing Heisman has to be really high up. Like that, like really high. There you go. Pump, pump, pump. Pump, 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 jump. Ah, oh, you felt this, right? Dumbbell in your left arm, left leg, flutter kick. Now you know what to do. Go, press it. Press. Lift, pump it, strong, breathe out, tap that elbow, come right back up. Ponytail in your head can be on the way to the exercise, just realize that how this thing was digging my head and I couldn't make it flat. See how you discover so many different things each time. Ah, press it, left arm, ah, dig that leg. Listen, right arm, right arm alternating step up on that step, right arm only. Right arm is holding, holding the dumbbells. Right arm, but you're doing alternating step up. Deal? I'm pretending that I have a dumbbell in my right arm. That's it. Straight ahead, brace your abs. Nice firm step up. Breathing. Staying calm, regulating that breathing because it's going to go a little bit more, especially that we just finished that turbo 
cardio, okay? Turbo, cardio, right arm is holding the dumbbell. Almost there, almost there. Good. Right arm is doing a press with right flat and kick only. Left leg is bent. You're going. Go. Control that leg, guys. That shouldn't be flopping around, the dropping that leg. You have to feel the leg controlled. So on the way down, with the dumbbell and with that leg, you slowly going down. Full control, full control. Squeeze that quad. Bring them up center together. Exhale is on the way up. There you go, right there. Squeeze and lift. Good work. Left arm will be stepping now. So pay attention. Oh yeah. Lift, lift, lift. You're doing great. Get, get that left one. Left dumbbell in your hand. And you're doing step up on your left. Still alternating. Still alternating. I'm staying tall. I'm switching those legs each time. Nice firm step. Elbows should be slightly bent on both both elbows, even though just the left one is carrying. Try to stay even, guys, because that weight wants to pull you to the side. So your right side has to work so much more right now to hold the balance. That's the whole idea. Good work, good work. Again. Nice. Now we're gonna go into both dumbbells presses on the floor. Both dumbbells. Go for it, go for it. Remember, left leg, left arm. Right leg, right arm. Left leg, left arm. That's how you press it. You're lifting one leg at a time. Full control. Squeezing your abdominals. Think every set is an abset. More you connect that mind to the body, more results you're gonna have. Breathe out. And look, we started that 21 day challenge don't worry about the edge. Just do well one day at a time. Now both dumbbells have to be in your hand to do this step up. Both dumbbells. Ready? Now we're alternating holding both dumbbells in your hands. It's still left, right, right, left. Still getting the same tempo, the same the same theme right here. We're not switching anything. Those hands should be tired right now. The, the, the grip, the forearm should be getting a little tired if you have heavier dumbbells here. Okay. Stand up straight. Each time we're almost there. Almost there. Shoulders back, chest up. Keep that shoulder in. Don't let that dumbbell pull you down. Zigzag coming up. Jump. So get ready. This is total of eight exercising, starting always with the turbo cardio and finishing with it too. Zigzag, we go, chop, chop, go. I want a big jump step. Jump, 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 and stay on that single leg. Look, hello, Jeff. Eliana, are you gonna go backwards? Jump, single, single, single. Good, jumping, landing. Going backwards, going forward. I had a moment to touch even the screen. Boom, nice big leap. Good leap, leaping. Yes, leaping forward, leaping back. That's the moment that it's gonna boost it up a little bit more. That's where your breathing has to be more control. Good. Job. Sip your water. I'm explaining second round and we are going. Of course, starting second round with the Heisman. Water pre-workout. This is my pre-workout. Some of you 
always wanted to know how to make it. In the morning, when you wake up, especially for me, I'm not eating breakfast, I am using water beverage mix, all my vitamins and powders, herbal tea or powder from Trulene for energy. And you need to have some better drink because you're not gonna work out on an empty stomach. And that's very important to have the protein. That's my reason. All right, Heisman. And then we're gonna start with a sit up. Left arm starts, as you know, it's always left arm. So get ready because the Heisman is starting. I want the engagement. Pump, pump, pump. You gotta hold it. Go, go, go. Now we're gonna start moving forward. Ready? Go forward. Pump, pump, pump. But right here, if you have no control or you do not get that momentum and it's hard enough for you to get the rhythm of the jump, don't go forward. But for those of you who can, you're gonna go forward and you're gonna go back. Got it? Pump, pump, pump. This is our turbo cardio. Pumping it up. Starting and finishing each round. There you go. Pump, pump, pump. Left, 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 left. Lift your legs. It's gonna target those glutes. Yes. Almost there. We started a little bit earlier than normal. Good job. Listen up. Left dumbbell. You're gonna do sit up and press. I'm gonna show you sideways. Sit up and press. Ready? Sit up, tall. Press the dumbbell overhead. Slowly down. You need to go slowly down. Lift up. As you sit in position, then comes the press. Slowly down. And again, lift. Now, the whole point of the lift is not to round your spine. So you gotta carry it straight with you. Do not rest that dumbbell on the shoulder. Slowly down. And again, lift. Breathe out, press it. Yes, control it. We're gonna be using step, right arm, coming up. So make sure you know which arm to do. Right arm. Now pay attention, we're gonna be doing right arm, right leg stays on. Right arm dumbo, right leg stays on. You ready? Pop, just left leg goes up and down. Right arm. Right, right leg stays on. Left leg tops, that's it. Top, come right back up. Pay attention to that knee, okay? Your step should not be higher than your knee level. See, I even have a lower step and this is fine because if you wanna lift heavier load, you should not be going higher with your step for those of you who have a lower back problems because you're gonna activate the muscles, if you, you have a lot of weak, weak lower back. So step lower, then you can maybe add some volume here, some weight, okay? Right arm, right arm the same. Look, you're gonna be pressing. You're gonna be sitting up and pressing. We are right here. Go, 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 right arm. You're gonna sit up and then press. Right arm dumbbell, sit up and press. Sit up and press. Lift. My back is straight. I'm looking at the ceiling throughout the whole time. The dumbbell I'm carrying with me. I am not resting the dumbbell on the shoulder. Now look, you should not starting pressing overhead what you press in your chest. That's a different motion. Start a little lighter, especially that you coming, lifting, you're doing a sit up and press. So start a little later, feel your body, learn the technique, and then move forward. Left arm, left arm, left leg stays on. You ready? Left leg, right here, left leg. Boom, tap it. Come right back up. Yes, yes, activation on the left. Breathe out. As the leg is on top. Inhale, exhale. That's what you're doing. Activating the quad, hamstring, all the glutes in your, in your glutes. Yes. Tap it. Breathe 
tap it, tap it, stay straight. Remember what I told you? We have a single dumbbell on a single side. Your up, up, opposite side has to work twice as much to balance that had no, no heavy weight on the right side. Both dumbbells, both dumbbells going on the floor with the sit up. Go, both dumbbells, sit up on both. You are going, press, press, both dumbbells. Breathe, pay attention how you unfold yourself. One vertebra at a time. We're not just flopping, hitting the spine. We are going with full control, like we're going in a full control of our life. Exercise, guys, is much like real life. If you conquer every day with exercise, you're gonna realize that your life became much better. That all these obstacles that you're facing, <coughs> are easier to overcome. Really, that's why people fall first off the exercise, both dumbbells. Listen, look, both legs stays on. One leg steps down at a time, both dumbbells in your hands. So think about it. If you're gonna get your exercise in order, your eating in order, your whole life will become better. But when you stop, when people stop the exercise, the whole other aspects of their lives become a mess. So that's why once you're gonna have this in place, look and see how your whole life changes. So make sure that you do them every single day, that you're staying committed, that no life will change what you're supposed to be doing. No life events will change what you're supposed to be doing. This is just an hour of your day. You know what's coming? Zigzagging coming. Now we're gonna tap the floor of the opposite arm. I want you to tap the floor. Listen, I used to ice skate very good, but I never compete or did any kind of crazy jumps. But I was a good, good, fast ice skater. Now, I don't do it anymore. We're talking about 25 years ago. Love that moment on the ice. Who is ice skating in that group? Ha! Huh. Stretch your legs because the damn Heisman is coming. It's coming. Three, two, one. We gotta go. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, we're going forward. Keep on going. Now, I have to fix my hair as I'm doing this. Pop, 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 hold it. Yeah, up, pop it. One, two, three, top. One, two, three. There you go, pump it. Good. Ha, ha. Light, light, lift. Light, light, lift, go forward. Raise that leg up, raise that leg up, soft. I see some of you new people here. Nice. You know what's coming. Left arm, sit up and press. Go for it. Sit up, press. Left arm. You see how my heart rate went up? Now I have to control my breathing a little bit more. As I'm speaking to you, I have to have a little grace. Pay attention to your right hip. Squeeze your abs. Pump that dumbbell. Don't rest it on that shoulder. Slowly unfold. Do not round your back when you're getting up. Slowly down. Then dumbbell travels with you. Press. It feels good. Uh, that should be hard. Right arm step. Right leg stays on. Right. Boom. 
Right stays on, right arm. Right arm holding that dumbbell. Now, when you're gonna tap and come right back up, that's the activation, all right? So, try to tap it and come right back up. Reset is here on that step. That knee pretty much becomes bent throughout the whole time. Oh yeah, and you're gonna feel it. I'm feeling it already. Oh yes, feels good. Now this has to be like a rock. You gotta hold it to support it. Ah, right on, sit up, press. My imaginary friend Dumbo is carrying his being with me. So you getting up and you press it. Press. There you go. Sit up, back straight, and press. Sit tall. Unfold without jamming and going fast. There is no speed here, guys. There is no speed. It's very smooth, con controlled motion. Don't hold your hand like I am holding. I'm just holding it to support my shoulder, kind of. Lift up. Left leg stays on. Left leg, left arm. You pump it. There you go. Staying straight. Good. The same idea, the same goal. I have a 20 pounder in my hand. You might have 15, maybe you have five, maybe you have 10, maybe you have freaking 35. Each of you will have a different work put in, but it's work. And that's, ah, oh, burns! What matters? Yes, that glute, that quad is on fire. Ah. That's a good color, it's burned right there. Both dumbbells, sit up, press both dumbbells, guys. Both. Not one, both. I'm sure that some of you figured it out. You only have maybe one dumbbell at home that you will have to hold in both of your hands. Right? Left, left, left. Ah, press it slowly down. That press motion is a little faster, but coming down is a little slower. Again, lift, lift. Come down. Both dumbbells in your hands on that step. Well, you know that I'm holding one, but now both legs have to stay on and you top it, right? You top and you switch. Yes, you top and you switch. Let's see how my hand will take this. Let's see. I'm trying to slowly add some things, but still slowly. <clears throat> Good, top it, top it, shoulders back, chest is out. That knee is supposed to be bent. And tie your foot on that step. Both dumbbells holding. Both. Tap it. You know what's coming? Your favorite zigzag. Zigzagging. Zigzagging. I'm gonna feel <clears throat> like an ice skater. And there you go. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna tap. We're gonna tap. We're gonna tap, and then you're gonna go backwards. But listen, if the backwards part maybe doesn't work for you, go forward and run backwards and start from the beginning, okay? Each time you gotta reset yourself. Don't just go, look, here. No, you're tapping, you're coming up. It's a reset. 
reset, 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 yes, throw the bell, throw the bell, ha, 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 I lost my balance, Whew. what we doing in the breaks, we are stretching, quads, maybe glutes, Maybe you want to sit on a chair and some spider is going to crawl into my butt. They have their homes there. Ha. Switch. And switch. Ha. Reset maybe because we've been doing a lot. Reset your back. Bring your hands behind. Push a little forward. You can also do this exercise resetting on the floor right here okay for a second two it's gonna be fun look next round begins sip of water sip of your pre-workout we're going forward we are awesome on time awesome you're still gonna need that step so keep that step we're gonna start with your bends right now so your bend will be at the pole guys at the pole, we're going to start with left leg, left arm. We're going to be doing a motion of a punch. Okay, so boom. Just like that, I want to teach you first. Left leg behind, right leg forward. Right from that chin. Boom. Boom. Punch. Of course, we're going to do right. Now, for those of you who do not have a bend, what you can do, you can stay in a high plank position. Right here, feet are wide. Let me show you here. And you're going to be punching the air like this. Now, you can have a two pounds dumbbell, but please do not do five or please do not do ten. You're going to injure your shoulder. The, the joint is too small to do these movements. Okay? So, let's do this in Bulgarian sprint. I'm going to be explaining to you right here. We are starting the next round. Left arm always starts today. We already know this. I hope that you notice this. Pivot. You see when that hand returns towards the chin, it's pretty much like doing a cross as a lefty, as a southpaw. Boom. Bam. Bam. Turn. 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 Punch. Punch. Strong. Pump it. That's where the bends are coming right now. Dumbbell's still in. Ha! Control it. Yes, the arm will go on and go back. But we gotta control it. Oh yeah. Don't lose your juice. Ah! Ah! Squeeze it. Control a little more. That shoulder. You're gonna feel it pivot on your left leg. Ha! We slow down. Because we start much earlier right arm right leg stays on the step right arm is holding the dumbbell pay attention down and up this is your bulgarian split right here so now you can put your leg on the couch you can put your leg on a freaking stool not too high though stools are usually high maybe that wasn't the best idea couch chair right here now the whole goal is to keep 90 degrees, so now pay attention to your left leg, because if you are too close, that leg, you're going to come here and you're going to be pushing a pressure over your toes. No, you got to step forward, straight down and up, straight down and up, just like this, holding the dumbbell in your right hand, right leg is on the step, 90 and 90, upper body right in between your legs, right arm, punch, Right arm, punch. The same thing, guys. I'm not going to use that bend. I'm going to pretend. Left leg forward, right leg behind, and bam. Bam. You're turning, twisting, rotating. Right here, I would be left leg. You're going to feel this in your lats, in your abs. Boom. Bam. Like this. Pivot turn. So this is our cross for those of you who punch. Maybe some of you have never punched before. Maybe, maybe never done a boxing. So this is awesome. 
it's gonna give you that learning of number two, punch number two. That's your cross. Coming across the body, retracting, bang. But control the, control the elbow. Because here, you're pressing, don't lock it. Okay? Left arm, left arm now. Left leg on the step, guys. The ball of your foot is in it. And you're going straight down and up. That's it, look. Nice, smooth, deep breath in, and exhale. My dumbbell is to the side. I'm looking straight ahead. Left arm, left leg on the step. Down and up. I have to secure my, my step because it pushed, I pushed it away with my leg. So the next time I gotta put the dumbbell in, it's not gonna go anywhere. Good. Now both arms, both arms will be pressing now that bench right here. So go, go, go. You gotta go. Both arms with with the bench. So you're gonna be rotating right here, pumping left leg is forward, halfway through, I'm gonna tell you to switch. So you are here on the floor, if you were doing high plank position and lifting those arms, you will have to punch, punch from the high plank position and switch right leg forward now. So you're activating more of your left. You got it? Yes, that's why we're doing it. So turn, 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 turn. Twist and turn, twist and turn. Almost there, four, three, two, one. Now, listen up, with this step, we now we have both. So we're not gonna use this, we're gonna use both dumbbells here, and we're gonna go up and down, like a split squat. Cause we're not gonna be switching the legs of the step. We'll take too much time on you, and then halfway through, I'm gonna tell you, to just switch the legs, got it? We have a few more seconds, straight down and up. Both dumbbells in your hands, both. Now activate, squeeze your quads, squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Your legs shouldn't be in line, you're gonna lose the balance. They should be like low shoulder width and switch. Immediately that right leg goes forward. Still keep your shoulders nice and back. Chest is open and you're going 90 here, 90, right? So your upper body stays right in between your legs. You're going straight down and up right here. You know what's coming. You're becoming the ice skater right now. Going for the gold medal. Bam. Top it. Top and land. Stay safe. Yes. And then you know what we're doing. Back. Back. And then the Heisman is going to come as well. Turbo cardio. Boom. Stand up straight each time. Pop it, but come up. Come up. Don't stay low and do the ice skater. Patch with the opposite hand. Come up. Jump. Elongate. Extend that arm. Stay straight. Stay tall. When you're bounding, I want you to let the ball of your foot Absorb the shock. Good. Heisman. Ooh. After this one, stretch. Loosen up your legs. Ha! Go. Pump, pump, pump. Yes. You remember? We are going forward. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Come on. Come on. We are all going. Nobody is quitting here. Pump, 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 high knees, 
left leg behind. Go, bam. Left leg pivots. Abs are tight. Just left arm. The bend will want to control you and really pull you back. But it's up to you. Control, squeeze your lats a little bit more. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze. You have still some juice left there. Come on, peak freaks. Squeeze it. Pump it. Ah, it's coming. Ah. 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 Right leg. Right arm. Dumbbell, right hand. Go. Remember what I told you. Remember what I told you. Stable, stable. This has to be behind. Otherwise, we'll slide right here. Straight down and up. Shoulders back. Hips in line. Right arm is holding the dumbbell. Control the breathing. Because now, after the jumps, your breath is a little bit out of control. Deep breath in and exhale. Go back to the breathing and you are fine. Right arm, right arm, punch, left leg forward. We gotta turn and punch. I'm gonna just do a few just to show you and you guys are right here, boom. And remember, you don't have a band, what you gonna do? You're gonna be right here in a high plank position. You can reset, you can punch, or you can go bend. Boom, boom, right here. Yes, that's gonna be a single arm high plank position that's gonna be hard, but this is hard too. So we always have an option when you don't have an equipment. We're gonna show you alternative. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Turn right here. You gotta control it, you have six seconds. Control the arm, don't hyperextend the elbow. Good. Now you know what's coming. Left leg. Left leg is on the step now. Right? Yes. Go. Straight down and straight up. Single dumbbell. You gotta really get that balance going. Deep breath in. And exhale. Shoulders back. Chest is up. After that bend, you're also feeling it because you push so hard, right? Yes, keep those elbows slightly bent. I'm almost losing my balance here. The legs are tired, but that's good. We did so many rounds already. Ah. Now both, both arms. Both arms are here now with the bend and you're going rotation here. The same idea I'm going to show you when and I'm going to tell you when you're going to switch your leg. So left leg is forward first. You got to go. You got to turn. You got to turn. Your right leg is pivoting. Wait for my command till I tell you to switch. Get ready. And switch on the fly. Right leg will be forward. You guys are on the floor with high plank position. You're going to be pumping alternating arms. Oh yeah, now you know it. Ah, ah, ha. Now you know. Split squat. I know that you know. Both dumbbells. Ready? Both dumbbells. Down and up. Both dumbbells. Don't look at me and say she has one. I'm giving you command. Both dumbbells. Yes, we give commands here. The peak freaks are like soldiers. Kind of. Switch. The leader is a marine. We all have to march to the beat of the drum.
drum of the success and no excuses. Bam! Heisman. Not Heisman. Zigzag. Finishing drum. When you're tired, you're losing a little bit of your balance. But listen, this is not going to stop you from doing the exercise. You're jumping, you're hopping, you are going. Oh yeah, yes, yes, jump, 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 jump. Almost there. Stand up straight. Next round is coming. Give a moment. 30 seconds. And we're gonna go. Keep on stretching. Listen, if you're not out of breath, if you're not out of breath, sometimes when you start exercise program, your body needs to learn. Sometimes you are not able to push yourself. You just a little confused with maybe the movements. You need to learn. Give yourself the time. If you are out of breath or you're feeling dizzy, it's okay. Get a water, open up the air, get some air, and keep on going. It's gonna get better. That's the thing with exercise. It's not gonna get worse. It's gonna get better. Bend, monster bend. You are starting with your left arm. Left leg in. We starting the overhead press right here. Boom. Stay with knee slightly bent. Now, for those of you who do not have the bench, you can use the long loop and use just part of the handle. It's totally fine. Or use your light dumbbell and do an overhead press. But we do a, a single arm overhead press. Ah. Almost there. You see how hard it is with the bend? You can stretch them a little bit. Ah. Good. Right arm, single leg, Deadlift, right leg on the floor, right arm, and you're doing this. I'm gonna show you side press. Look, right arm, right leg. Now, if you just so new to the exercise, you've never done this before, or you it's been so long. Listen, guys, don't do no dumbbells here. I just want you to learn that motion. Look, bend that knee back is straight, tap the floor. Okay, that's it. That's it. Your body will do the work, especially if you have to lose a lot of weight. Don't worry about lifting dumbbells. Getting this motion, it's gonna be hard enough. Okay, so the knees, the knees should be slightly bent on the floor. Back is straight. Tap it and reset. Yes, you're gonna feel this in your heel. Now, right arm, right arm, bend press. You know me, I'm not using this arm yet. Pressing right here, okay? Pressing. So that arm goes into the loop and into the leg right here, okay? Feels better, but it's still not there. Go, go. I'm going with full, just range of motion. Getting that elbow working again. And that tricep. Just tricep got a little overworked and tricep extends the arm and I got a little elbow inflamed here so it's okay. I'm massaging you using arnica and it's gonna go back. All right now guys we're doing left arm and left leg deadlift. So left arm left leg for those of you who can you're gonna be right here. Let the plane look boom straight line. I turn. Hips 
should be square. Because in this motion, what's going to happen is the left dumbbell wants to pull you and it's going to open up that right hip. You don't want that. You want to stay as straight and parallel towards the floor as possible with the shoulders, with the hips. So there is no rotation possible here. That left leg is slightly bent right here. Okay, right here. Both arms inside the loop. Both arms inside the loop. And we're doing the press right here. I'm gonna try with you slowly, just getting that arm little to work. And that's it. Okay, press both arms. So again, arms will be right here. These are slightly bent. And you're just gonna get that arm overhead, okay? Just right there. Remember, we still have zigzag, we still have Heisman. Heisman before the second round. So we gotta pump those legs. Uh. Now alternating legs with the dumbbells. You can have one or both. Down, stand up straight, switch and switch. Both dumbbells right here and switch. Both dumbbells in your, in your hands. Back is straight, you reset it here. Single. And again, if you are a person that just starting, get the motion down. You don't even need to use the dumbbell because if you need to lose a lot of weight, your lower back usually has the pressure already. So we don't wanna injure anybody. We wanna make sure that you are staying safe and you're gonna get that going and eventually it's gonna become easier for you. Okay, zigzag, zigzag followed by the Heisman. Ready? Those are your final, we're not going any further. Ready, go, zigzag, top it. That's how we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish with those two cardio boosters. You did such an awesome job. You show up, you did it, your day is starting great. Some of you are now that even taking a break from work to do that. Some people have that window. Some people returning from work and look, you're gonna still do it and you're gonna feel amazing. Whew. You accomplished something. Just keep on going guys, keep on going like the life is going. Leg is going away, the time is sticking, the time will never come back. What you have lost is not gonna be coming back. Oh, this is resetting us. Hold on, what's happening? Actually, you finished exactly the sets for work. We start in Heisman, three, two, one, go. Go, pump, 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 pump. Oh my God, I lost my tempo. So, yes, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. We are no different. So keep that in mind. That it's just about scheduling. You can't figure it out. You need to call me, you need to text me, and I will sit down with you and help you schedule your day. I always give you guys my number, 201-925-1860. And we are done, clap for yourself. Because this was amazing. High five! High five, you would get in the gym, high five. Żuvik, this is Żuvik, Polish Żuvik, turtle. This is how we do it, say it, Żuvik. Joanne, oh, how nice, Ita, now I can see it. I was like, woo! I see a lot of you who was working out. Please put it in the comments, put it in the comments. We are stretching on the floor. 
quick little stretch just so you know you can do the same stretch as we did in the beginning of the workout as you realize we do sometimes standing sometimes sometimes laying down sometimes stretch drop we started with low and going up high so now going down to breath loosening up those shoulders oh we don't need you anymore thank you very much take a deep breath in through your nose exhale through your lips Yes, bring both of your knees up, hug them, press on your shins, lift your heads up. I see some little, little elves, little elves are here. It's the time of the season when the elves show up. Mine just got up, my elves, are your elves are up. Switch, stretch. I love when the little elves getting up. They're so sleepy. You gotta really wake them up. These elves. And switch. And guys, repeat those stretches. Take your time. Stretch. And be ready for the day. Awesome job, everybody. Awesome job. We are all done. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Remember, day two of the challenge today is December 4th, 2020. I purposely say, say that day because you know what? These, these workouts will survive as long as the internet and the YouTube is, exists. Because people 20 years from now, they can do the workouts, who knows? So it's going to be pretty cool to know that that was done, I don't know, 20 years ago, right? So wishing you a wonderful day. You got this. Remember, you got this. You got this. There is no problem. You have full control of things like health, like what to eat, how much water to drink, you are in a full control and wants to embrace that empowering statement and once you're gonna feel this you are gonna conquer anything in life and i know that you can do it so embrace that feeling start with little small things that will lead to these big mountains of the victories and you are all good thank you so much everybody you guys are awesome i will talk to you later no excuses